Hello everyone, welcome to One Stop Academy English. In this lesson, you will learn the difference between schwa and wedge sound. It is mostly confusing for people to differentiate between these two sounds because both of the phonetic symbols sound as a. Uh. So if sound is the same, what is the difference? Let's find out. Schwa is a reduced neutral vowel sound. For example, the last sound in sofa. Sofa. Another interesting example is the second vowel sound in the word photograph. Photograph. An interesting thing about the word photograph is that it has three syllables. We use the schwa sound for the second syllable. It is unstressed syllable. The first syllable is the stress syllable. So if it is stress syllable, we cannot use schwa sound. So we say photograph. Photograph. Another example is adore. Adore. The stress syllable in this case is the second syllable. So we use schwa sound for the first syllable. Schwa is a reduced neutral vowel sound, while wedge is a full vowel, as in cut, butter, luck. So what is the difference between the sound if there is any? There is little to no difference phonetically based on its sound or production between schwa and wedge sound. We use schwa sound when we don't need to fully articulate the vowels which aren't stressed in the word. In case of an unimportant vowel which we don't need to articulate fully, we take the easy way and use a reduced sound. We make a schwa because we have got better things to do than pronounce the middle vowel in photograph. The wedge sound is absolutely essential to the word's identity. The fundamental difference between these two sounds is not the sound, but the origin of the sound. Once you have figured out where the stress is, figuring out whether the vowel is a schwa or wedge is easy. If your a uh sound is occurring in a stressed syllable, it can't be a reduced vowel. So it's a wedge. If your a uh sound is in an unstressed syllable, it's likely a result of vowel reduction. So it's a sure sound. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Please leave your feedback and see you again. Bye bye.